fella. We can be that mistake. Let's do this. What it do, y'all? Hey guys, we're Embrace the Sweat 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. First time on the channel with Stuart Lee. My God, commented a lot. Yes. Like, Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Like, there's been a there's been a lot of comics that uh, we, we've gone through, so this is our... It's not because we didn't want to. No. It's because there's we're a just, lot. We're just getting to it. Yeah. Now, we we, uh, we started with uh, with, with a, uh, a bit that uh, um, is something we relate to, is internet <laughs> comments. We get internet comments? Yeah, <laughs> almost every day. <laughs> but... Uh. Um, but yeah, I, I, we, we saw a couple of other, other of his stuff. It seemed a little too political, uh, which we try to keep neutral on those. Yeah, that's so, the rule. Guys, yeah. just politics, you guys get it over there. We get pounded in the head here. We yep. just keep it off the channel. Yeah. Just because. Yeah, exactly. It, so, it promotes sanity. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but hey, um, let's, let's just dive <laughs> in, man. Let's do it. Yeah. Jazz music and the lighting change, please. <laughs> uh, rowing Rob on the Guardian's Comment is Free site calls me a sneering tosser. <laughs> Tokyo Fist on YouTube writes, Smug elitist liberalism, who is this cunt? Warto15 on Twitter writes, I hate Stuart Lee with a passion. He's like Ian Huntley to me. Uh, do, some of our comments do say that some of these jokes do go over our heads. Do they? All That's right. one of them. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah. I'm going to try not to put my foot in my mouth because we did that with the G Jimmy Savile. Jimmy Savile. <laughs> so that's just, I'm just going to. All right, cool. Yep. Press yep. on. Let's go. Huey on YouTube says, Stuart Lee, I will shove my thick cock in your throat, you gay lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> Zed Factor on Twitter writes, Stuart Lee addresses an insular cadre of socially challenged, prematurely middle-aged, pseudo-intellectual men. <laughs> I, I know, yeah, not, <laughs> not as exclusively as I'd like, to be honest. But, but it, won't, it won't, it'll just be us again soon. It won't last. <laughs> it can't last. <laughs> we'll batter one night and then be all right. Uh, a Pudabaya writes, I spent the entire show thinking of how much I want to punch Stuart Lee in his face. The fucking smug face cunt. <laughs> and that's on a website that is actually called beexcellenttoeachother.com. <laughs> is that an actual website? <laughs> we gotta look this up after this reaction. Uh, this Be is like, is this like before the people read mean tweets? <laughs> I, I, I think so. This is like, I think Jimmy Kimmel stole the idea from Stuart Lee. Yeah. Shame on you, Jimmy. Oh, my God. I, I shouldn't give it too much. Like, he's actually one of my favorite late-night people. Yeah. I prefer him to Fallon and Colbert. <laughs> yeah. A Jimmy Vesper on DontStartMeOff.com writes, A shit-haired cunt <laughs> who resides at the very apex of all that is absolute patience-testing wank. <laughs> Seriously, when there is the comedy equivalent of the Nuremberg Trials, <laughs> this bastard is going to be hung from the highest fucking lamppost, <laughs> pelted with wasps, nests and dog turds, <laughs> and eventually blasted with a flamethrower. <laughs> fucking hell, he concludes. I can't put into words... <laughs> <laughs> How much I detest this utter fucking cunt. Man in a banana suit on the Guardian site writes, Stuart Lee has made a career out of smugness. I hope fucking Crohn's disease kills him. 
<laughs> and Ricardo writes, whenever I see his photo, I dream he's just seen my boot a split second before it rips his face inside out. Shindig on the dugout.net calls me an aging cunt with an Eskimo face from the 90s. the 90s as opposed to one from the 80s i don't or the the, the I get it. teens i get it they they use surfboards as insults <laughs> so yeah i guess uh, or and donuts donuts as as insults or at least gordon ramsay does what <laughs> the hell oh man <sighs> i i i'm take i'm getting from these comments that he's a smug person and that he, he's kind of highfalutin but or maybe least, he's funny like or at Jimmy least uh, or at least he's that is his persona yeah a lot of people fall into the the trap that is a persona yeah that you play on stage right right a, like al murray yeah or larry the cable guy yeah those are both examples very different examples of yeah. a persona on stage yeah thank like, God. he's there's no way Larry the Cable Guy is Larry the Cable Guy 24-7. No, no, no. It, 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 no. No. He wouldn't have... He, he, yeah. Yeah, exactly. No. One from Mum's Net here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Queen of the Harpies says, My mate had a huge crush on Stuart Lee, but even she's starting to admit time hasn't been kind to him. <laughs> And this one's from a, a Sheffield football website, and it says, I know this guy, not well, but I can confirm that he is a cock. <laughs> I've spoken to him several times in the past at various get-togethers, although not recently, and he is a pillar. <laughs> he used to go out with my wife's cousin. He came up a few times for Christmas and one or two other things. I found him condescending and arrogant. Anyway, they've split up now, and my wife's cousin seems a lot happier. <laughs> oh. 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 Man. It takes a big guy to read the comments. Yeah. <laughs> this is the oh. first time, I think, that we've delved into a comic off, off of their... Uh, Internet comments. Yeah. Yeah. Be interesting. Oh, man. Now, I guess we have to go well, not, to with not, more topical things now. Yeah. <laughs> we, um, yeah, because comments aren't the true representation, but that's a funny delivery of how to, if you're mm. going to address the haters, address yeah. them publicly. Exactly. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could, I mean, I'm going to give it two thumbs up, but oh, yeah. I, I guess I just see the comments right now. You started with the wrong one. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. We'll comment we, below we, which one we should do, okay? Yes. Yes, please. Please. Yeah. Because, like, I relate to this a lot. Like, I, I, like, I see the comments. I mean, look, we're both busy guys. Yeah. We have our own lives. Yeah. We don't have time to respond to every single comment. No. Um, but, hey. We, we do some, our best to get to all the comments. Um, some of them are just downright nasty. Some some of them, I wonder where y'all got your manners from. Your manners from, yes, and why you feel so tough behind a a keyboard. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, I'm I feel sorry for you. Uh huh. It's like what, what I don't know. It's just like whatever is going on in their life right now has made them feel compelled to write a negative comment to two idiots on the internet. Yeah. How bad is your life? <laughs> but at the same time, I hope whatever is going on resolves itself and that you <laughs> yeah. feel better. Because, like, my God, if you're looking for a place to air your grievances, this one, there's a 90% chance we're not going to see it. Two, what can we do about your miserable life? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 
But <sighs> thank, thank y'all anyway for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. Until next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug your devices and go on an adventure. We'll see y'all next time. Why not? Time. Later. <laughs>